Welcome back to Copper Age Gold. On this episode, we're talking about my top 10 list of vehicles that I want to see Hasbro make for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line for G.I. Joe. And we're looking at the original prices of those vehicles, adding inflation from all the way back then to get the new price today. Stay tuned. Copper, age, gold. Kicking off the list at number 10, we have one of my favorites. From all the way back in 1982, we have the MOBAT, the Motorized Battle Tank with Steeler. The MOBAT was a game changer. Not only was it a cool tank that you could play war with in your backyard with your neighbor, but this thing actually moved on its own. Yes, the MOBAT with Steeler from 1982. The original price for the MOBAT, it was a little pricey, even way back in 1982. It came in at $19.99, just under the $20 mark. In today's dollars, with inflation from 1982, we're looking at $57.61. Still not too bad, right? Coming in at number nine, we have the APC, the Amphibious Personnel Carrier from 1983. This thing was awesome. It was perfect. You could throw all your Joes in the back of it and break the little seatbelt thing that always broke anyway. The APC was awesome. In 1983, the original price for the APC, $8.99. Not too bad. In today's dollars, with inflation from 1983, we're still only talking $25.12. You can put me down for three of them at that price. Hasbro, make it happen. Snickety, 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 snick. Coming in at number eight, we have Wolverine. Oh wait, not that Wolverine. The Wolverine, the tank with CoverGirl from 1983, number eight. The Wolverine was awesome. All those missiles, so cool. Cover Girl, loved her. So cool. The Wolverine from 1983. The original price for the Wolverine, $6.39 here in the U.S. In today's dollars, with inflation from 1983, we're still only talking $19.53. I'm in. Coming in at number seven, one of my favorites, and I know it's one of yours from 1985, the Awe Striker with Crankcase. The Awe Striker was a game changer. You could cram a buddy in, let him ride shotgun. You could have a couple Joes hanging off either side. The Awe Striker was killer, man. Suspension in the front so you could do your Dukes of Hazard and land. Oh, so cool. The Awe Striker, 1985. The original price of the Awe Striker, only $6.59. In today's dollars, that's still only $18.08. .08. So add some cost for tooling, packaging, promotion, whatever you want to do, Hasbro. You put me down for one at under 40 bucks. I'm in. Give me an Awe Striker for my G.I. Joe classified series figures for G.I. Joe. Did you feel that chill? We're going all the way back to 1985 and we're talking about the Snowcat at number six on my list. The Snowcat was awesome and it came with Frostbite. From 1985, the Snowcat with Frostbite, number six on my list. The original price of the Snowcat for 1985 was $6.59. Imagine paying under seven bucks for a cool vehicle, tons of accessories, and an action figure. Come on. In today's dollars, with inflation from 1985, we're still only talking $18.08. I'm in. And now we're to number five, and we're talking about some heavy hitters. Number five on my list of vehicles that I want to see made by Hasbro for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line. For G.I. Joe, 
We're talking about the killer whale, the hovercraft with cutter from 1984. This thing rocked. For all the cool stuff Cobra had for the water, the moray, the water moccasin, the, the killer whale blew him away. Honest. Let's just be honest. The hovercraft was so cool. So much playability. I want to see it made. Hasbro, give us a killer whale for the classified series line. The original price in 1984, $17.99 for the killer whale hovercraft. So cool. Such a great value. In today's dollars, with inflation from 1984, we're still only talking $48.15. Now, if that were true, I'm in. Sign me up. Send me an email. I'll give you my PayPal. I'm in. Give me a killer whale hovercraft. Even if it costs, say, 70 bucks, I'm in. Give us what we want, Hasbro. Coming in at number four, another heavy hitter. From 1984, we're talking about the Dragonfly, the killer helicopter that came with Wild Bill, and Wild Bill is worth it alone. I want a Wild Bill figure, but I want the Dragonfly from 1984. Love that thing. So much cool stuff. The spinning propeller, so cool, man. The Dragonfly. The original price of the Dragonfly from 1983 will blow you away, man. $8.99, under nine bucks for a killer helicopter and Wild Bill and all the accessories and the playability, nine bucks. Come on, $8.99. In today's dollars with inflation from 1983, we're still only talking $25.12. Again, sounds like a broken record, but if that were true, I would have a complete fleet of dragonflies for my G.I. Joe classified figures. Coming in at number three, we have a hot topic. This, honestly, I don't think we'll get. I hope we will. I really, really hope we will. We're talking about 1983's Sky Striker. I would love to have a Sky Striker for the G.I. Joe Classified series for G.I. Joe. I would love it. I'm a little worried that we won't get it. Uh, actually, I'm a lot worried we won't get it. But I would love to see a Sky Striker for the G.I. Joe Classified series for G.I. Joe. 1983, give me an ace. Give me a ton of weapons, missiles, you name it. Give us what we love. Sky Striker. The original price for the Sky Striker in 1983, $14.95. Imagine, if you will, paying under $15 for a killer jet with a pilot with a ton of weapons and accessories. Under 15 bucks. Wow. In today's dollars, that's only $41.86 for a Sky Striker with inflation from 1983. Mind blowing. I'm in. Just let me know where to send the money, Hasbro. Give me a Sky Striker for the G.I. Joe classified series figures for G.I. Joe. Coming in at number two, another heavy hitter. We're talking about the G.I. Joe headquarters command center from 1983. I would absolutely love to see this happen, Hasbro. Give us the G.I. Joe headquarters command center for the classified series figures for G.I. Joe. Oh my God, this thing would look so cool. I would have to have one. Now granted, I'm sure it wouldn't be cheap and I'm sure it would take a lot to do, but it sure would make a lot of your fans happy. In 1983, this would cost $24.99 for the G.I. Joe Headquarters Command Center with all of the stuff it came with. So cool. In today's dollars, with inflation 
from 1983, the G.I. Joe headquarters would still only cost $69.77. Now, that's just the original price with inflation from 1983 as compared to today's dollars. Now, say that that price, that $69 price tag, say that you had to add $140. Would you be willing to pay $200 for a G.I. Joe headquarters playset for your classified figures? I know I would. Would you support that HasLab project? I know I would. Imagine all of the cool stretch goals we could have as part of the G.I. Joe Headquarters Command Center. Oh my gosh, it's limitless. The extra figures, the extra accessories, the extra playability, the extra displayability. Oh my gosh, I would absolutely love this. Before we get to number one, please give a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm doing everything I can to expand our universe a little bit more. It's that time. It's time we discuss my number one vehicle that I want to see made by Hasbro for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line for G.I. Joe. That's right. You know where I'm going here. I want to see the USS flag built by Hasbro for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line. Imagine how massive this thing would be. The original one was over six feet. This thing would have to be probably double that. And imagine all of the accessories that would come with the USS Flag aircraft carrier. It would be insane. But could you imagine it happening? Would you want it? It would take up an entire room of your house. Now say you've got a room dedicated already. It's a safe bet. Most of us are crazy. Say you had a room, especially for your G.I. Joe collection. Would you make room for a USS flag for the G.I. Joe classified series line for your G.I. Joes? I know I would. Originally, the USS flag came packaged with Admiral Keelhaul. The original price for the USS flag was $89.99. In today's dollars, with inflation, we're talking $232.48. $232.48. Now, that's just the original price that it sold for, plus inflation, all the way up to today. $232.48. Now, I'm not a crazy person. I know that it would cost more than $232.48. Just say it cost $750. Say it came with crazy stretch goals, okay? Things that you just could not comprehend. Say it came with a crew that we never got. Say it came with eight crewmen that served different functions on the ship. Not a crazy thing, right? I mean, you have to have crew to run an aircraft carrier. Say it came with Admiral Keelhaul. Say it came with his second in command. So maybe make the total 10 figures. Maybe 12. Who knows? Make them stretch goals, right? Make people really dig in to this if they want to see it happen. Maybe it comes with torpedoes. Maybe it comes with small aircraft that you could put on it. Maybe it comes with more than the, just a little handheld voice thing. Maybe it comes with automated sounds that you can just press a button and you have tons of different playability action with it. $750. Would you support 
a HasLab project for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line figures for G.I. Joe for the USS Flag if it cost $750. I got to tell you, I can't say I would make a snap decision. I would have to think about it. I would have to weigh the pros and cons. I would have to look at the stretch goals. I would have to look at the financing. I probably can't pull 750 bucks out of my wallet. Probably not a lot of us can. But if it were possible, and if Hasbro gave us the option, would you support it with your wallet? Would you lay down the money? And if so, what would you want to see added to the playset? What stretch goals would you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Number one on my list, the USS Flag. Well, that's it. That's my list. That's my top 10 vehicles I want to see made by Hasbro for the G.I. Joe Classified Series line for G.I. Joe. Let me know what I missed. Let me know I'm crazy. Let me know all of the cool vehicles that you want to see made that I didn't cover. Well, that about wraps up this episode of Copper Age Gold. Thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the toy aisles.